You need to occupy star platforms to build an Alliance headquarter or Alliance outposts. Later on, you can develop planets and collect resources. Star platforms have garrison fleets, which you can challenge together with your friends. Occupy platforms, develop planets, and the Alliance's future will certainly be bright. Hey guys, Colbert here. Welcome back to Infinite Galaxy with another Infinite Galaxy video. Guys, our Alliance will be going into a territorial expansion attack you guys are gonna see it live here um i have this clip saved i was doing it on my phone i wasn't actively on my computer at the time but even on my phone it, it looked fantastic uh the way that everybody collaborates together to take over the star is just fantastic when you're in an alliance i'm uh, gonna see all of that together but let me give you a recap of what happened since the last video guys our alliance got attacked we almost every one of us got damaged but that's what happens when a big fish comes in and attacks the smaller fish. We are the smaller fish, of course, as a much younger alliance. But what we did is recover. We recover, we repair our flagships, and that's the way you move forward in the game. You slowly go in there, fight pirates, you go into, into the mines, you recover your deuterium, you recover your other resources, you know, titanium, steel, deuterium. You use all those in order to repair your main flagship. That's what I did. And that's what you guys should be doing in the case attack. There's lots of strategies when you want to move forward in the game. And getting attacked is one of them. And also attacking others is another one. Don't just defend. You also need to attack. So what I did was recover my Artemis first. I repaired it first. I still have some other flagship which still need uh, repairing. But these are not priority for me. They're much lower level. And I'm not actively using them for anything at the moment. There are some things that I could use them, like just send them for resource gathering instead of attacks on pirates, um, especially the lower ones. They would never win the, the higher level pirates. So what I do is I repaired my higher level uh, Artemis and Odysseus. Now these are part of my first fleet formation with the recent patch. You can now have two ships in your uh, fleet formation, which is amazing, makes you uh, much stronger now. So look at this Artemis and Odysseus uh, all together with my strongest cruisers, destroyers, and frigates right here. Really solid combo together. And uh, that's what I used to take down pirates, and I can now even take higher uh, end level pirates. What you do is when you get attacked, you slowly repair, repair your strongest ones, and you get going back into the fight. So now I just want to show you what happens when an alliance is looking to expand its ter territory. This is what we did. We went in there and tried to take over another star. So when an alliance controls multiple territories, and this is what you'll be looking at, guys, is you'll be able to benefit from alliance territory tax. And this is insane because it gives you territory resources every, every single day. And this is amazing in order to just help you progress through the game. So just by having control of this, all of these uh, outposts, we are at this point so strong that we get all of these resources every single day. A strong alliance uh, helps you also become stronger. So it's an amazing thing to, to experience when you're fighting this and you see everybody going in together to take over a star. So let's go and see the clip of us taking over the star. Every habitable galaxy so once we has found the star that we wanted to attack, we coordinated our attacks there. Uh, it doesn't matter if Everybody starts attacking at the same time. Extreme. Anybody can go in there and start attacking. Uh, important thing is that everybody goes in there to the star once the star is captured so that we protect it and reinforce it. So you not only need to attack and get the win there, but you also need to reinforce it. So I'm picking my strong fleets and sending them in there um, just to prepare for the fight. I'm not the strongest one in the Alliance at the moment, but still I can provide some support if anybody comes in to, to take the star platform from us and, and also support with the reinforcements once that's taken over. So you'll see that the fight now uh, begins and we're going to be taking over the star platform. Everybody is around there and playing at the same time. So it's basically live. Uh, we're trying to take over the, the platform. I was like zooming in to see the fight and how it was going. Um, there's no control of the fight, but you are watching uh, the cool animations of all the starships and, and uh, fighting each other, just trying to destroy this platform in order to take control of it. So that was a cool thing to watch. Um, my, my flagships were far away, so they were still traveling, but other members of the Alliance were 
trying to take it over. They were taking it down. Uh, like the strongest members of the Alliance are much more equipped to do this kind of thing. But I'm going in there for support and waiting uh, to see if anybody pops up. Everybody else is also just laying around just in case anything happens. This is the coordination of an Alliance and that's how you should be moving, taking over the stocks and trying to take control. So once the health drops to zero of the star, star platform, you'll see that you'll be able to just go in there and reinforce it. So the timer will drop for the um, Starlands uh, outpost to be uh, activated. So right now it shows four and a half hours, but the more members go in there and reinforce, the timer drops by about 30 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, per member that joins. So I'm going in there, trying to reinforce it with my own flagships and take over the, the outpost the soonest possible. So that's my goal and that's what I'm trying to do here. So here I'm just, just taking over some of my resources that are available, but just flying in there, trying to reinforce and get the outpost the soonest possible. That's the goal here. All and right, guys. So the secret signal event is going on right now. It ends in four hours. We have 22 minutes until the challenge is over. Let's go and see what our alliance is doing and who we are attacking. So uh, we've got some invaders uh, right here in three minutes and 14 seconds. Uh, I've got to go and check here the already invaded uh, area. So I'm going to go here and see if I, if I can attack that area. We've got some other members already going in there, but I think I'm just going to send my own troops over there and see if we can take them down. So the possessed fleet is out from the secret signal. We still have uh, eight waves to go. So I'm going to go there and help my other Alliance members. Everybody here is just fighting like crazy. Uh, let me zoom in just to see on how the possessed fleet fleet is over there. Um, it's not that far away. It's in the same star system where I have my spaceport. So that's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to try here and attack. I'm going to send in another uh, fleet, but wow, we're getting wrecked. Um, all right. I still have some health left. Hopefully we'll be able to take it down. Uh, one million and oh, this one is it's just not going down. I've sent my other troop. The other members of the, the Alliance are still coming in to help. Hopefully they'll be here so we can just take them out. But uh, yeah, the life bars are not just not going down. Let's see. Doing my best here, but I think I'm just going to go out here. All right, that was nasty. Definitely took a hit there. All right, guys, so the final wave is out. If we beat this, then we at least have defended this one. Uh, we still have two minutes more for this event and I think yeah, let's just go in and start attacking and I'm gonna join in the fight for the final one 4.6 million. Oh, that's a lot But I think we'll be able to take it down if everybody joins in the fight. Just look at this Look at everybody in there <laughs> just bunched up. Okay zoomed in a little bit too much But everybody just joined in so Keisha is there uh, only showing his health because he's the one that initiated the attack and then everybody just joined in with their own fleets. I think we're getting beaten a little bit with 2.2 million, 1.4 for there. But it should, we, we should be able to reinforce with other fleets. We'll see how this goes. Once once we're taken down, it, it, it should be at about 1.8 1. 1. million left. Um, did we manage to take it down? What happened there? Um, I think I need to go back with my own fleet. Kind of need to go back and replenish, resupply. And I think uh, this one's safe. Look at that. Okay, we are safe. It means that no other in invasions are going to occur. I guess so the secret signal event is over. We managed to rank 18th individual ranking 422nd. I still need to improve, of course, uh, when these events pop up. But we definitely did our best to protect uh, one of our um, star systems right here. This was the showcase for the Secret Signal event. If you guys are ever interested to test this out, yeah, then yes, coordination and support by each Alliance member is definitely required. So guys, this was the video. This is one part of what an Alliance can do together. There's even more stuff that you can do as an Alliance. You can even attack other Alliance is in, in a coordinated attack. We haven't reached that place yet we're still getting stronger and once we get stronger enough we'll take on other alliances and see who we can take down so if you did enjoy this video there's gonna be a link down below in the description and comments of this video to download the game definitely try it out uh, you won't regret it as there's so much 
uh, to do an experience in Infinite Galaxy. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!